Hey guys, it's me, Amber, and um, I'm here to do my weekly weigh-in. Yay! <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to get straight to it because it's Valentine's Day, and today is my husband and I's 19th wedding anniversary. So we got married on Valentine's Day 19 years ago. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and cut to the chase. Um, my current weight this week is 218.4, which is a 1.2 loss. I will put a picture of my stepping in on the scale, my, my feet on the scale, and the number at the end of the video. Okay, so uh, this week has been pretty uneventful. I did my lifting schedule from the week prior where I told you that I was going to do that lifting schedule. It's lifting like two times. Um, it's lifting like two times a, a week, but I really feel like I need to lift three times. So I'm going to revamp my schedule again and try to come up with a new lifting schedule and maybe just add one day to the lift to get lean lifting schedule. Okay. Also, um, I went and got something as a motivational tool to help me with my weight loss. And it is... Da, 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 a pound of fat. I got it off of Amazon and it is, uh, I think it was like $21 for a pound of fat. So I, I got this and I put it on my desk at work to just kind of remind me that nothing tastes as good as gaining one of these. So, um, I've been actually doing really good with my diet this week. Um, and it's not really a diet, just monitoring my calorie intake and making sure that I'm getting at least fruits with every, every like breakfast and lunch, and then making sure that I'm getting a lot of fruits and vegetables. So, um, yeah, I recommend that if you need some motivation to go on out and just get a pound of fat. Um, there's another, like the person that gave me this idea, she's a YouTuber whose name I don't know, I can't remember. It's something to do with makeup, but she actually has like a little side playlist of weight loss. And, um, she has a round pound of fat, but mine actually came on a base. So I got a pound of fat. That's pretty gross, right? Yuck. <laughs> um, okay. So I have been still using the gym Bible. It has been amazing. Um, there's so many different, um, like, machines and free weight uses that I'm really excited about, like, like I said, adding that third day and picking a few things from the Gym Bible to do. The Gym Bible I found at the back actually has another lifting schedule. One of them's for weight loss, so I'm going to look into that one and see... You know, if that that particular day could be added, like one of their days could be added to the two lift to get lean days. Um, I realized that I'm not pushing myself as hard as the trainer pushed me, but I still feel like I'm making gains and making progress because I did lose 1.2. So that that's that. I have like a little um, notepad to keep me on track. <laughs> Um, Weight Watcher Girl 1 is back on YouTube, and uh, I just wanted to kind of welcome her back because I did miss her. Um, and she did a video kind of explaining where she's been and kind of what happened to her. And also, um, she did some food finds with Smart Points. So, yay! I love having YouTubers who are, um, you know, really great at losing weight and kind of guiding others through the process. Uh, okay, so... I'm trying to keep this video short because my children are starting to get up. I can hear them. And um, I wanted to recommend a podcast. So the podcast that I have been listening to is, um, and I the guy is still updating his podcast and putting out more podcasts, but he I don't think he's doing it at the clip he did even a couple of years prior. But he still has 150 episodes that you can listen to when you're at the grocery store, when you're lifting, or, you know, just listen to listen when I, I listen when I'm doing the dishes or stuff like that. So the podcast is called Tips of the Scale with Sam Lamelli, and he interviews people who've lost a lot of weight, and they give, um, tips and ideas. They talk about their weight loss journey and what it was like for them. And like sometimes that moment when they knew they had to lose weight. And, um, it's really good because he, he, sometimes he'll interview trainers or, you know, it's just a really 
I feel, well put together and well-rounded podcast. There's something in there for everyone. You know, it's not a particular diet. Like he doesn't do just Weight Watchers or just something. It, you know, he interviews people who have lost weight and sometimes that varies, like how, how they lost their weight. So I will put a screenshot of that podcast at the end of the video so that if you like to listen to podcasts, um, this will be from the Apple Store because I don't know what the podcast stuff is for Android. So I don't, I don't know what that would be, but um, it is for Apple. So you just have to go to the Apple Store, or not the Apple Store, the Apple Podcast app and click search and type in tips of the scale. And then that should bring them up. But it also says with Sam Lamelli, but I don't think the Sam Lamelli part uh, makes any difference in the search. Okay, uh, YouTubers I'm watching right now. Right now, I am watching Lindsay M. Adams. She's lost a significant amount of weight, and I believe it was over 100 pounds. Um, and how I found Lindsay M. Adams is she was recently um, featured as one of the two people on Skin Tight. Like, usually they do two people on every episode of people who are going to have skin removal surgery because they've lost such a significant amount of weight. So then I saw her on Skin Tight, and I just looked her up to see, like, it be nice if she had like a YouTube channel and she does so um, I have been watching like her weight loss journey it's even though it's kind of over it's not kind of over like because you know when it comes to weight loss it's never just a one and done it's never like hey I lost my weight everything's great you know there's still that whole maintenance process that that can be sometimes as challenging as losing weight. And so Lindsay is kind of in her weight loss process. She's done a, quite a few videos about the aftermath of doing the show Skin Tight on TLC. I really have been focusing on her journey and, you know, listening to what she has to say about what she does. So, um, yeah. So if you get a chance, I would take a look at Lindsay and M. Adams. And, you know, she's not putting out videos as quickly as she did in the past, but she does have a quite a good catalog of things to, um, to kind of see from like her, how she started to now. So, and I, and I don't think it's like the very beginning of her weight loss journey, but it's somewhere in the middle and you can see her progression as you're watching the videos. So if you get a chance, watch Lindsay M. Adams. She's got some really great videos, um, about weight loss and, uh, let's see, what's the final thing I want to talk about? Okay, so last week I told you that I um, had my lifting book, the lift book that I bought to take with me to the gym so that I could like check off all the things that I had, all the different lifting schedules that I was keeping. Um, but as I got there and I started to do it, I realized it's kind of cumbersome carrying my water bottle, my cell phone, because I have to listen to music, my towel, and my lift book with a pen. So. I googled, well no I didn't google, <laughs> sorry, I went onto the app store for um, Apple and I was like there's got to be a lifting app that I could just have on my phone and then just like click, click, click. And what I found was this great app called Strong and um, you can type in the workouts that you want to do, like you, they give you a selection like overhead press or you know chest flies or things like that. They give you those options, but if it's not in the book, you can just type it in and then you can save it as a workout. So when the workout starts, all you have to do is open up that workout and um, you type in what the pounds are and from there you can just click it. So let's say I wanted to do 12 overhead presses with a 10 pound dumbbell. It'll say overhead press, weight 10 pounds, times, and then you know, you're the one that decides how many times um, so I'll preset it to either 10, 12, or 15, and then when you're done, all you have to do is click it, and it gives a little check mark and says, you did that one. So I felt like Strong is a really easy app to use, obviously because I used it, so it's got to be easy, otherwise I'm not into complicated. But um, if you are doing lifting schedules or weightlifting schedules, Strong is a really good affordable app. I think it was free. Yeah. I think it was free, but um, yeah, so I've been using that instead of my lift book. So now when I go into lift weights, I just click. <laughs> I click what I've done because I've already preloaded my workout in there. So I'll go in, select workout A, it lists all the things like walking lunges or dumbbell curls. Click, 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 click. 
I'm done. And then it says, you did a workout and it tells you actually how many pounds that day you lifted. Like it'll say you did 2000 pounds total. So yeah, anyway, if you get a chance, look at Strong. It is on the App Store, the Apple App Store. And so far I'm really loving it and I'm actually gonna add another workout in probably today. Like, not because I have workout A, workout B. I'm gonna add that third workout, workout C, and then that way I'll have three workouts in a week. Three lifting workouts in a week. Anyway, I'm sorry this video feels so rushed, but I just wanted to come and weigh in. So I did lose the 218.4, and that brings me to a total of 17.2 pounds lost. I'll put a screenshot at the end, and um, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention is that I'm starting to do progress photos. So I have some from when I started out, and I've been like doing the side-by-side -side and the weights. So um, I, I'm not sure when I'm gonna actually add those because those are kind of hard to look at sometimes. But um, I will start adding progress photos to some of my videos so that you can see. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys are gonna have a great upcoming week and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.